Hey, everybody. I got a really, really interesting one for you. This is an investigation that is quite strange, per se. It's a weird one. It's one that I quite don't understand and that I most likely can't find. Today, we're going to go on an adventure. I and mean, I'm bringing you guys along for the ride. I'm here at Millstream Run Reservation, a one little piece part of it. Several people come up here, enjoy a little walk, like another car driving up right now. So me and my friend were up here one day walking the bike trails. It's, we were walking, from what I understood, was the Royal View Mountain Bike Trail. It's a trail where it goes straight through the woods. Now there's a highway on the other side, which is kind of interesting, then more woods, but all this just highway. The rest of it all the way up through here is pure dense woods. There's certain parts of the wood up here that it's pure silence. And then there's parts right up here where we're up above the valley and it's a highway. Well, there's some parts where it's secluded. It take people a while to find you if something happened. It's pretty scary, actually, I will say. Me and my friend were driving our RC cars through up in here, crawling around. We took this one certain path that I have not yet found yet. We found this abandoned house. It was an abandoned house in the woods. All There was only a little bit part of the structure left in the chimney. But it was so eerie, it was freaky. It was, it was really scary, it truly was. I have not been successful finding the house yet afterwards. I don't remember what path we took, but I do have an idea, and I'm gonna try that today. After the house, I was uh, searching for the house. It was on a separate video that I might show you guys bits and pieces of actually that I just never uploaded. I thought, let's do a final piece. This piece was kind of messed up, you know. So I got some parts from that. I was walking the trails trying to find it. I packed my camera away and everything. I kind of just packed everything away. I'm walking the trails and this trail is going on and on. Miles, it's going on for miles. Darkness sets in, I gotta get all my night gear ready. So, because I'm always prepared for night gear, but I never thought I'd be walking in the dark on the scariest trail, for me at least, I've ever been on. I was terrified walking the trail. I'm not terrified of walking trails at night. There's something very much so different about this this peculiar part of the trail, which is actually right behind me, way deep off in that part of the I'm talking deep in that woods behind me. So I'm walking and I see I, I see a headlamp off in the distance. I say, hello, is anyone there? Because I need help. I can't find out where I'm going. Every time I get closer to the headlamp, it gets farther. Every time I stop, it stops. I felt like I could hear things walking about in the woods next to me that I wouldn't say would be an animal, but I can't say what it actually is. I was terrified. It started running quickly, running after his headlamp too, and then a headlamp would go off into the woods, off the trail. Other lights would appear. When I was finally out of the trail, oh, I was so thankful. I popped out way down at the end of the road, so I had to walk up the road. The road was the scariest part because it just it was so eerie and the energy was so terrifying. And I don't understand why either. It's just a park, but again, then you have to think it's right next to a highway and many accidents have happened. Many things have happened. Armed robbers driving a car, get off on the side of the road, try to run for the police through the woods. People maybe maybe come out here to take their li own life and hide off somewhere where no one would ever find them or maybe somebody would find them. There are so many things going on out here that we don't even know about. I'm going to take you on that adventure today. Now it is just about almost two o'clock. It's eerie, it's weird out here. And even though the highway is loud, I feel that it will be incredibly eerie. And I thank you for joining me on this adventure, shall we? I have seen things that defy the laws of physics. I have heard things that I can't quite understand. Let's get out of here. I go out on an adventure, searching for answers to these bizarre happenings. And I capture it all on film to show the world my evidence. These are my paranormal adventures.
walking for quite a while now, and I can see rain in the sky, which is not good, but I noticed something. I'm walking along this other part of the trail. I'm way off. I'm way far, far away. It's been about an hour. Now, what's interesting is there's this yellow trail right here. I've never, I've never seen this before. This is sugar bush. It's one mile. It's not designed for bikes. Okay. But this is. So I'm curious. Let's see what the sign says right here. It's gonna say, oh, that says keep going that way. Huh. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. It's re it, it truly is weird. I know when we saw the house, I know that it, I know it exists. I'm looking for tri tire marks too. I don't see any. It's, I don't see any tire marks. You know, but this, this is for bikes right here. I know this is. See, now we're branching off from a different area. But I remember this. I vaguely remember. I've been here a couple weird, like, you know, twigs breaking, a couple things like that. I just. That's kind of what I've been hearing. Other than that, I haven't really been hearing much at all, honestly. So. I mean. Oh man, I slipped. I mean, if I, if I find this. I'll find this house, you guys. I've never been this way before. Watch, it won't lead to it at all, though. That's my fear. But it was on a trail. If I don't know, if I don't find it, I'll show you guys the picture. There's a picture. Thought I saw something. I don't know. I don't know what I saw. Thought I saw something. I don't know what I would have saw. Thought I saw a chimney. I'm looking for the chimney. Oh my god, that's it. Oh my god. That's it, right there. Oh my god, I found it. No way. I can't believe this is it. I mean, just wow. I mean... Wow is what I have to say because in this place is so cool. place truly is incredible. I hope to ride up here again someday. Sit back and relax for a little bit. The problem is now I gotta figure out how to get out of here. <laughs> I got a long walk back. I will say the sense of closure that I have now for finding it. I'm so happy. I've never It's like, in, you know, when we first found it, it was so awesome. It's such a cool place, you know. It's not scary out here now, but it's still an adventure, I will say. I mean, it was awesome. I enjoyed it. <sighs> All you thrill seekers out there or that hunt for the paranormal, go out there and do it. Go have fun. Get a chance. It's awesome. I love doing it, and filming is a passion of mine that, gosh, I hope to live someday.
Maybe I'll come here at night at some point. We'll see what really goes on. Or, well, what goes bump in the night here. I will say. Sure will be interesting. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and there's a whole heck of a lot more coming to Paranormal Adventures. And I uh, can't wait to show you guys the more short films I'm doing and uh, the videos arrived are going to be coming out this year hopefully. And uh, hopefully the night investigation with Dad at uh, Helltown. I've had an extremely paranormal experience there that you guys loved. And I'm hoping that uh, when it all goes well. A lot more to come. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. You're watching Paranormal Adventures.